It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Hi, this is Courtney Dominguez, financial advisor and CFP at Payne Capital Management. The markets were closed on Monday in observance of President's Day, making this a short four-day week in the finance world. Let's break down the moves we've seen. Markets hit all new highs last week with sentiment buoyed by stronger than expected U.S. economic data. Retail sales came in line with expectations at a 0.3% growth, and University of Michigan survey revealed the consumer sentiment increased this month from the end of January. This is all at the same time consumers are enjoying higher incomes and jobless rates near 50-year lows. Furthermore, markets have been gaining on hopes that the outbreak in central China might be under control. This week, markets did open lower on Tuesday as fears of the coronavirus continue to remain on investors' minds. Throughout the week, we have seen ups and downs as the markets continue to digest this information and what impact it has on the economy. After a run from the October lows, the coronavirus is just giving investors a convenient excuse to take some profits. Investors reached for safe havens, such as gold and treasuries. The yield on the 10-year treasury was below 1.5%. As Bob mentioned last week, with the current inflation of 2.5%, the real return on bonds is negative. Counterintuitively, investors continue to increase demand for treasuries, but perhaps not surprising when you consider that there's nearly $14 trillion of negative yielding debt in countries like France, Germany, and Japan that guarantees you a negative return on your money, making treasuries look more attractive. Gold prices also continue to push higher with investors' demand to another safe haven, and gold tends to do well in a low interest rate environment, which we are continuing to see. A few things to remember. Markets are only slightly off their all-time highs, and don't forget, stock market dips are temporary and always a great buying opportunity, as you'll often hear from us here at Payne Capital. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio appropriate for my goals to my family's risk tolerance? Well, why wonder? Give us a call or text us at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Courtney Dominguez filling in for Bob Payne on your weekly market update.